let's jump into our next module. So in this one, we're going to learn how to configure a JavaScript app to receive Microsoft 365 data by using Microsoft Graph. Now, previously, we learned about what Microsoft Graph is, what it's all about, and some of the types of data you could retrieve with it. And we also played around with Microsoft Graph Explorer. In this one, the learning objectives are the following. First off, we're going to understand the role of Azure Active Directory with Microsoft Graph. We're going to understand the basic concepts around Microsoft Graph permissions. This is a really important aspect of Microsoft Graph because if you're going to pull a user's email, then they need to consent to be able to pull their email, of course. We'll demonstrate registering an Azure Active Directory application. This will take us to the Azure portal for that exercise. And then finally, we'll demonstrate the ability to create a JavaScript app, and we're going to connect it to Microsoft Graph, use a token to securely make the call, and then we'll retrieve some Microsoft 365 data. If you'd like to follow along in the Microsoft Learning Path, and go to this module. You can go to the link that you see on your screen. Just make sure you go to the JavaScript app module and everything I'll be talking about will be found there as well. So let's talk through the scenario in this module. We're going to assume that your development team is in the initial planning stage for building a customer app that you see here. And the app is going to allow salespeople to access historical information about previous customer interactions. And that would be things like emails or chats in Teams meetings and notes, people within the organization that could help on sales calls, files that you've sent to customers or maybe received, whether it's about the customer themselves or products or invoices or anything along those lines. Now, because Microsoft 365 uses Microsoft Identity to authenticate users, your team plans to use that along with Microsoft Graph to access this customer information and display it in the app. And we're going to talk through that flow here momentarily. Now, let's assume that you've created a simple prototype app to help your team get started using Microsoft Identity and Microsoft Graph together. Well, to do that, the app we're going to be talking about is going to be using something called the Microsoft Authentication Library, or MSAL. M-S-A-L, you'll see as an acronym. And that's going to be used to authenticate users. Now, what your team plans to do is first register the application in Azure Active Directory, and we're going to see that process coming up. We're then going to test the process of authenticating application users and receiving what's called an access token. And that's step one, as you'll see here in the diagram. Now, once we have that access token, we can use it to call into Microsoft Graph. And it's kind of like a key that has what the user allows us to do in it. We can then hand that off to Microsoft Graph, and as long as that key fits, as long as security is right, in other words, then we can make these calls out to Microsoft Graph. So let's take a closer look at the role that Azure Active Directory and Access Tokens play with Microsoft Graph. 